Good afternoon, everybody. It's Thursday, March 28th, 2019. Welcome into another edition of Talking Fitchburg from the Fact TV studios here in Fitchburg, Wisconsin, USA. Andrew, welcome to the show. Thank you for being the director. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah. For everything you have done this week, Andrew. You're, you're welcome. Like, Andrew, again, <laughs> stand up fellow this week. He's been. Uh, oh, stand up. He's been killing it. <laughs> oh, wait. Sit down. Sorry. Sorry. Sit down. Jeez. Sorry. I'm scaring the kids. Um, <laughs> wow. We, thank you. We, we owe uh, uh, just a bunch of things to you. I'm going to take you out to lunch someday, and then you're. Uh, Sunday? You're this Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. Okay. Sunday. <laughs> when you need a break from the kiddos, you can. Oh. Uh, and I need a break from the kiddos, we'll just. Just gonna go. Okay. Well, yeah. at least you can say kiddos now. You plural, not just one. So yeah. You know, my wife and I, when we're walking around and see parents with one, we're like, "Oh, isn't that cute? Just one. Isn't that cute?" <laughs> Do you remember what that was like? <laughs> exactly. No, no, yeah. no, we don't. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's uh, those, those kids. They're good. They're good oh, yeah. fun. Last Absolutely. night, I, you know, yesterday I wasn't feeling so cheery after I left work and went home and hung out with. Uh, I hung off Lily, and uh, we went outside, and I pushed her around on her trike and pulled her in her car, and mm -hmm. she just enjoyed the outside, and there boy, you know. that cheers you up. Yeah, it does. Until I said we had to go inside. <laughs> <laughs> just like, no. Yep, kicking and screaming. Yep. So, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's how that yeah. goes. Yeah. Hey, you know, all, yeah. today's a special day because it's opening day for baseball. Woo! Even though I was informed by Scott, the miracle worker back there, that, yeah, well, that, that first American game, baseball. First, first, first game already happened in Japan. Wait, or, just uh, the uh, Debbie uh, Downer. He I is know. Unbelievable. Yeah. Go Brewers. If Woo! you're out tailgating, Go we should have tailgated. Brewers. Why didn't we tailgate today, Andrew? Because we've been running with our heads cut off all morning, so it wouldn't Gosh, happen. You need to produce this show. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so is Andrew. He's done. <laughs> He's done. He's at it. No. Enough. No. Fine. All right, we got a lot to get to here yeah, uh, in the headlines, uh, including uh, getting uh, ready for voting next week. We'll give you uh, details on getting an ID before you head out to the polls. And then next week, uh, we'll preview the Severe Weather Awareness Week uh, from the uh, National Weather Service in Wisconsin, Ready, Wisconsin. All of those players. Yeah, it's going to be a fun week. I'll tell you uh, special details what we're doing right here. On this show that I decided today, Andrew, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Department of Egg Trade Consumer Protection, they have our guest segment today, and we'll be talking about the grandparent scam. Yeah, uh -huh. you're all on spring break this week, and uh, maybe, or maybe you're leaving. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, you may receive some of those uh, crazy scam phone uh, scammers that say, "Hey, hi, I'm your, uh, I, I'm uh, Billy, uh, and I'm lost. You know, or I'm your grandson. Try to, yeah." Andrew, it's crazy. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. All I'm right. On uh, <laughs> I'm on it. All right. Let's kick things off here. We've been telling you about it uh, all morning here on the update, uh, but I want to remind you that uh, still going through 430 today, uh, Syeen Road northbound lane uh, closure at the intersection of Irish Lane. So that utility works going on through 430 today. They have flagger operation going on up there, but please take your time. And plan for some extra time as uh, work continues in that area today. All right, as we get closer to the polls, we've uh, shared some of the stories about making sure you get an ID to vote because you need a photo ID to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we put out some information on the uh, Facebook page, uh, City of Fitchburg, on uh, a website that can help you uh, in register and uh, make sure you get an ID. So it says here, visit my vote website to find out where you vote and to complete your registration online. If you have a current and valid Wisconsin driver's license or Wisconsin state ID card, you can complete the process online and save time at the polls. So get yourself uh, registered if you're not registered. You know, do all that ahead of time. And, of course, we do have, going through tomorrow, absentee voting right here at City Hall. Today it goes through 430. So if you're interested in that, stop on by. Say hi to our great, great clerks here at City of Fitchburg. All right, Andrew, you're on the fire department. This next story is yes. a uh, crucial one here. Okay. Uh, Fitchburg Fire Department putting out uh, a safety uh, uh, infographic here. At the chair, and it's home oxygen safety. Yeah, according to the National Fire Protection Association, oxygen uh, administration equipment was involved in an estimated average of 182 home fires reported to local fire departments per year. Per year. 
These fires cause an average of 46 civilian deaths and 40, uh, 60 civilian injuries per year. One of every four such fires result in death. Thank you to the American Burn Association for the infographic here. And yeah, I, I assume you can uh, expect what the do's are. Do not smoke. Yeah, no smoking around uh, these things. Uh, display signs that say no smoking at the uh, outside of, uh, you know, like on your doors and stuff. Big, big thing you need to do. Stay 10 feet away from uh, stoves, fireplaces, candles, electric uh, razors, anything that could cause uh, to spark. How about some don'ts? Never smoke. Yeah. Ask your doctor about getting uh, nicotine patches or some type of substitution. While oxygen, uh, wear your oxygen. Uh, <laughs> don't wear your oxygen while cooking. I, I wanted to read it like without the don't part. Doesn't sound good when you do that. Do not wear oxygen while you're cooking. Use products with uh, 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 petroleum jelly, uh, mentals. What? what? Oh, that must be if you are. Uh, be careful using that around that. And uh, don't drape clothing or lean your oxygen tank. Lean on your oxygen tank. Those tops can pop off pretty easily. Andrew, on uh, all of the fires you've been to, you ever ran into something yes. like this? Um, all not as a fire but definitely hazards coming in seeing someone doing the don'ts who have oxygen tanks i have as well in the ems side of things mm -hmm. so yeah definitely responding to you know there's gas leaks and we have to help everyone out oh someone's smoking while sitting there it's like really come on so yeah. that's a big one don't smoke i mean this is oxygen pure oxygen is flammable folks it's on the tank <laughs> And think about it, if it did catch, like, it could turn into, like, a missile or something. And oh, yeah. Just... It just, just, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that would do some massive damage, especially yeah. to a human. So, yeah, I share this up on the Facebook page or check out Fitchburg Fire Rescue uh, for more information there. All right. It's uh, just about time to start thinking about the Fitchburg Farmers Market. And they hey. put out a nice graphic here getting you ready. Fitchburg Farmers Market returns in May, Thursdays, May through October, 3 to 6 p.m. You know where it's at at Agora. Yeah. Big white tent. The pavilion. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fitchburgmarket.com. Find out the information. And what I really like about this is at the bottom here, you can see all the, the festivals that they have. So uh, Strawberry Fest, Kids Fest, Pig Roast, Fall Fest. All right. Pig Roast is my favorite. And the dates. They already got them. They already They're got them. They're all set. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, June, July, August, September. Rain or shine. Oh, yeah. Come on out. Get your local food you know, and it gets so warm out, you just want to go and start doing that already. Like, yeah. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. All right. Uh, did you know uh, la uh, later this year, Verona Road traffic will travel under Williamsburg Way? Say what? Say what? <laughs> I should have let you do it, Andrew. I knew you, I had a thing. I was trying. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Uh, DOT posting this up, uh, kind of a did you know, I love these things. In, mind, uh, in uh, the middle of late April, crews will begin building the bridge for Williamsburg Way traffic over Verona Road. During this, the three-month operation, left turns on Williamsburg Way through the movements will be restricted at the intersection with men and women often working within feet of traffic. Please focus on the road ahead, slow down, and eliminate all distractions. It's for everyone's safety. Stay informed by the Run Road Project or uh, our updates here on Monday as we'll share their updates uh, every Monday here on the Digest. But, yeah, you're looking at the traffic on Verona Road. And if you look off to the left there, you can kind of see the, the on-ramp there and uh, as it's going down, kind of that. But it's going to be a lot of movement of, uh, of material there. It's going to be crazy, Andrew, just crazy. But uh, yeah, we'll stay up to date on that. And if they do that time-lapse video, that'd be really cool. I hope they can pull that off. Fingers crossed. All right, finally, 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 National Weather Service, they're looking for you. This way, you, you. I blew it. It's okay. The Community Collective Rain, Hail, and Snow, or C-O-C-O-R-A-H-S Network, is looking for new observers. Do you have an interest in weather or recording precipitation on a daily basis? Then join the group, network, and... Uh, it just may be for you. Mm -hmm. Network is a bunch of volunteers that observe across the country, Canada, and the Bahamas that measure rain, snow every morning. All you need to do is sign up. 
purchase a C-O-C-O-R-A-H-S. Do you have a – Andrew, do you want to say uh, they have a name for that? The Coco Rush? <laughs> Coco Rush? <laughs> the Coco Ross. Uh, it, Ross. I like that better. <laughs> Rain gauge and then uh, take some free training and you'll be ready to go. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. If you're interested in signing up, uh, we'll share the link here to National Weather Story, and it's got the, the link right there on the bottom of that graphic. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up the digest. We're going to stick with weather. We're talking about Severe Weather Awareness Week. We'll get you ready. Everything you need to know for Severe Weather next week. Thanks right here on Talking Pittsburgh.